Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Brittany Spills the Tea, where I spill the proverbial tea on products that you may have been interested in, but we're not completely sold on the idea. Um, today we are actually going to do a subscription that we had signed up for back in January. It may have even been December. It was so long ago, I don't even remember, but it is the Loot Crate subscription. We actually did a three month subscription. Um, and I think we got the New Year uh, deal. It was like $89.95 for three, where it was originally, I think. <laughs> Say hello, this is my son Ezra. Come here, Bubba. All right, so we actually, like I said, we were doing the eight, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's a mess, but um, he's wonderful. Uh, we did the uh, three month subscription and it came with Three boxes of bi-monthly subscription. We did the Wizarding World one because if anybody knows me, they know that I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, which is probably an understatement, but I have a lot of colorful um, memorabilia and everything from back in like 2000 and a lot of stuff. I've been searching for a long time, but um, I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I just didn't know if it was worth it, but after doing a couple reviews, I decided that it would be... Um, you know, it's worth it to try out. I mean, it's Harry Potter work. You can't really go wrong, no matter what. Um, but this is the first box that I've received. I actually took about four months for mine to get here, which I'm late on this review for the March review. But I uh, sent, or when I signed up for it, I was living at a different address, and it is... Um, actually being torn down so when they sent my box there was virtually nothing there um, and then I contacted customer support and they were really 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 good and quick about getting my uh, sh shipment replaced it took about two weeks to get here two and a half weeks after I contacted them and told them what was going on and they didn't charge me for the replacement box um, sorry I said I'm a lot <laughs> But uh, this, this, uh, w it was completely my fault. And good job, Loot Crate. Thumbs up on customer support because they honestly got like back to me in no time at all. Uh, I think it was like a day. And he was really, really kind to whoever I talked to. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. But shout out to Loot Crate customer support. <laughs> okay. But honestly, I am so excited. I cannot wait to get into this because I have made sure that I did not see any of the Loot Crate spoilers for the March box. Um, I am a little bit peeved that they went and put the shipping label, don't go on my the shipping label on the sticker because I'm a huge sticker fan and I collect a lot of stickers and this one would have been cool. Even though it's just the Loot Crate sticker, I still wanted it. But that's just me being nitpicky because that's who I am. A little bit of OCD on me, but um, okay, but I'm so excited, so let's just get back into it. So this is my first time opening, I have not seen anything inside of it, sorry my son is a little loud in the background, and um, this is my first time opening it, I am so excited guys, like I said I haven't seen any of the spoilers, oh, okay, so first look into it, it's got a um, ministry thing, I think. Yeah, like, uh, well, it's Fantastic Beast. So the theme of this box is all, like, Fantastic Beast-themed items, which is exciting because I love the franchise. Some people don't like it, but I actually really, really do like the spinoff of the Harry Potter world um, because I love the cute little Nifflers and everything, so I hope there's something Niffler-related in this box. Um, but this is really, really cool. Uh, so, like I said, this is, like, a Fantastic Beast on the inside. I don't know if you can see that, um, but this is how the box came. So it's nicely packaged um, and it came with this cool little thing when you open it up it tells you like literally everything that's inside of it um, and a description of all the stuff that's inside of it which is you're kind of getting a little sneak peek right there but that's okay I'm not gonna look at it because I want to just open it up and see what all is in here but that's cool that they offer that hold on Ezra all right so this literally all pulls apart my son's gonna love getting into this um, and then it opens all apart. Watch out, baby. They can't see. So then you open this up. Uh-uh. Y'all, I'm sorry. My son is honestly, he's a mess right now. He's going through his terrible one and a half stage, I guess, because he's only a year and a half. But please bear with me. This is 
So it's my first video ever of an unpackaging uh, or an unboxing. Okay guys, so first thing I see here is awesome because it's like a green shirt, which I think a lot of the reviews said that they come with a lot of like black shirts and I love black, obviously. By the way, shout out to Hufflepuff. This is my house and I heard that a lot of the boxes are house related themed items, so I am cannot wait for that. But that is, that is honestly one of my favorite things is getting Hufflepuff themed items. Um, so first look, the cotton, I mean it's a, it's a cotton material, uh, yeah 100% cotton, so it's a little rough but I'm sure if you wash it, it's gonna like soften up. That's my kitty cat gizmo, shout out to Gremlins. <laughs> um, okay, so it's a Loot Crate exclusive item which is good which means you cannot get it anywhere except for the Loot Crate boxes, um, which is cool, cool. So I'm probably gonna actually hang this up whenever I get done with the box because it's really neat. Watch out, baby. Um, it's really neat. Okay, so on the front of this, it looks like it is a Maledictus, which is cool because that was one of my favorite things in the second Fantastic Beast movie when they really got into what Nagini was and like who she is. Oh, I love this, it's so cool. Yeah, it's so cool, huh? Alright, so this, I ordered a small in my shirt because that was the smallest size that they had. And it honestly looks like it's going to be a bit big on me. But I am extremely petite. I am like 100 pounds and I'm 1, or 5 foot 1. Not 1 foot 5, that would be extremely short. But I am super short. So, But like I said, it's 100% cotton, so maybe when I wash it, it will shrink up a little bit. That's really neat though. I love this. Good job guys on the art and everything. Me being an artist, I, I think that's really, really cool. Ooh, okay, next up. It looks like it is a, I don't know if y'all can see that if it'll focus. It is a mug. Ah, I'm so excited. It's a Kelpie. Uh, okay, so that was, sorry, I squeal a lot, especially when I'm excited. So that was exciting. That was exciting to, um, find in this box because I love Kelpies. Uh, by the way, I'm a little ADD, so I kind of trail off when I'm talking, but bear with me. <laughs> people know, people know. Okay, oh my god! This is so cute. Okay, so it looks like it's a tempered glass. So you have to be like really careful with this. We can't like put it in the dishwasher. It's hand wash only, I think. But it comes with a thing to how to care for your package, which is cool. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus, but it so you pay attention to this because this is really important you don't want to ruin your stuff um it's i mean it's it's i mean yeah so it's a 12 ounce glass oh it's so cute okay so you can see on here it's the kelpie from the uh second fantastic beast movie which is awesome and then on the bottom i don't know if you can see that it says watch your fingers Oh, is that backwards? I think it's backwards for you guys. Maybe this way. Watch your fingers. So it's cute. Whenever you're drinking it and you look into it, it's going to say watch your fingers, which obviously is cool. <laughs> I get excited over things, I think, a little bit more than I should. But this is really neat, and it's awesome to have, because who else is going to have it unless you have a Loot Crate subscription? Um, but anyway, so we're just going to put that right back over here. What's next? Ooh, okay, so, oh my god, there are! They're Nifflers in this box, which is super exciting! Baby Niffler squishy set. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all packaged really, really well. I mean, let's see, what are these? I'm gonna open them because I'm so excited. They're Nifflers, and it looks like there's all four of them in there. Okay, so, I'm just gonna put the packaging onto this side. Oh my gosh, they're like little stress ball Nifflers. Can you see this? <laughs> I'm so excited, and they smell kind of weird, but that's okay. Um, like not not bad, but like I don't know, like sweet smelling, maybe like factory chemical smelling. I don't know, but look at these guys. They're so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they're it's good quality. I mean, it's good packaging and everything. Like they came not not like they're 
really good quality. I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, look at them. They're all really, really neat. And they're like mini versions of the uh, Nifflers, which are so cute. Oh my goodness. So my son will actually probably enjoy playing with those if he gets a hold of them. But I'm going to try to keep them up on my shelf where I keep all of my stuff. All right. So let's see. Let's see what's next. Um, okay, so this is like a tin sign of the French Ministry print, which is, which is really neat. I'm going to take it out of the package so you guys can see that better, but like I said, really good packaging. Good job, Loot Crate. Alright, so everything comes individually packaged, which is super nice. I'm going to let you play with this, buddy, because I know you want to play with it. Yeah, that's cool, huh? And then that. Okay, guys, so look at this. This is really nice. It's actually pretty decent size I mean it's got to fit in the box right but it's awesome it's so nice it's got like a I guess not really a shimmer to it but like a shine to it and I'm gonna hang that up in my kitchen yes okay all right or my foyer that would be really cool to see when you walk into my door okay so that like I said this is really nice material it's tin so it's not going to get ruined really easy. I mean, if you don't put it outside, it's not going to get rusted or anything. So it'll last for a long time. Can you see that? It's so nice. Yeah, baby. I'm going to put that off to the side too. You want to play with one of these? I'll let you play with one of these. Yeah, you can play with that one. I'll let you play with this one because it's so cute. I love it. I love it. Can you all see that? I love it. Okay, here. You can play with that one. That's cool, huh? That's really neat. Alright guys, so I think we're getting down to the end of the box. I think there's only one more thing left. Still really, really cool. Um, it looks like it's going to be a pin. Comes in a nice little packaging once again. Oh, you guys are really good at that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so excited because I've heard about the pins being really, really cool and I'm excited to open this one. Says 2019 Loot Crate Incorporated, all rights reserved. So what you're getting is gonna be completely Loot Crate like exclusive. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I'm excited. You ready? What is it? Ooh, it's a Madigo. Okay, so it's one of those cats from the. It seems like it's all like um like geared towards the second Fantastic Beast movie, which I guess would make sense since it just came out not too long ago. Well, before March, obviously, which I am late to the game on the revealing. But look at that. That is so cool. I mean, look at the... It's got like a marbled, like shimmery on the inside. Can you see that? Is it gonna focus? Is it gonna focus? I can't tell. Yeah, it is so cool, guys. So I also collect pens, which is cool, because I'm a big collector, I guess. I just like collecting things, but mostly Harry Potter items. So it's cool to add a Harry Potter pin to my collectible especially a loot crate one. Oh my gosh so cool all right so honestly i'm really impressed with everything that i got in this box i love the box i'm gonna end up hanging it up to show you guys all of it kind of i guess spread out and then i came with a little obviously flyer for <laughs> owning the new ones the crimes of grindelwald so I guess it was all kind of related to the crimes of Grindelwald. It was all based towards that, but look how cool this box is. I, I'm getting so excited over things that I probably should not be getting excited, but guys, I'm gonna hang this up. Probably gonna cut it out and hang it up somewhere. That is really, really neat. And I think everything is backwards, unfortunately, but y'all, look at this. So cool. Good job on the artwork, guys, and everything in the Loot Crate was awesome. Honestly, I'm excited that I signed up for the three-month subscription because I'm going to be getting another box, I think, here um, around June 1st through the 7th or something. It's like what they, they said around the subscription date, but y'all, be careful, baby. I love that. Just trying to get into my stuff, y'all. But, um, okay, so I, I'm going to pull these things back here later. I'm just going to put this back up because I want to see you guys to see how awesome this boxes and it came shipped right to my door just like this i mean i guess that's a little bit weird because if somebody if you live in a not so great neighborhood and it's a little shady you might i mean someone sees loot crate they're gonna want to come and pick it up so i mean ugh. if you have a side door or something i would say to let them in your shipping uh know that you want them to deliver it to the side door because it doesn't come in like a brown box which would be enticing for someone to you know just come and pick it up i don't know but um 
Okay, I'm sorry, I kind of blinked there for a minute. I'm really excited about all these products. I'm actually going to go put them up on my shelf where I keep all of my collectibles and things, knickknacks and stuff that I've collected since I was little. Um, all right, guys, so I guess tune in for the next one. I also bought a, a direct liquidation crate. I paid, it is MSRP at almost $6,000. I paid, I paid the, like... 188 plus of course the shipping was really expensive because the crate is like 280 pounds so it's going to be interesting whenever they come and drop it off and i'm this little bitty you know girl <laughs> michael will probably be at work but he may be here so if he comes then that would be awesome but i've honestly had a little bit of trouble with the direct liquidation because it was supposed to ship on the 21st and it said that it was set up to ship on the 21st but i have not received any shipping information so i'll keep you guys you know um i guess in the loop with that uh as i figure out what's going on with that he said he would get back to me tomorrow it being a holiday weekend by the way happy memorial day guys um they would get back to me on tuesday so i'm waiting for that hopefully we'll be able to get something situated i'm so excited to unbox that for you guys because it is a completely randomized like box of like i think it was like either 200 or 400 items i don't know it's going to be a lot to go through but i'm excited to do it with you guys so keep checking in for that video um also, for the next Loot Crate box, which should be here sometime in June, like I said, it's kind of randomized. Uh, it sometimes does take a long time. They're kind of back ordered or they're, I, I don't know. It takes a while for it to get here, but it's worth it, obviously. Good job, Loot Crate. A shout out to you guys. Um, like I said, tune in next time where Brittany spills the tea on the other items that I have. Like I said, this was my first video. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for tuning in.